Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Всім привіт, всіх вітаю. Good afternoon. How are you today? Як ваші справи? Welcome to the Open English class. Наскаво прошу на відкритий англійський урок. Друзі, а Спершу скажу трохи українською, щоб всім було зрозуміло точно, і щоб я знала, що ви всі знаєте, що відбувається. Перш за все, я представлюся, мене звати Ірина Верховська, і я викладач англійської вже 10 років. І трохи інформації хочу дати вам перш за все за те, що буде сьогодні відбуватися протягом цього відкритого уроку. Отже, сам урок буде тривати сьогодні одну годину. Це важлива інформація, щоб ви могли розрахувати свій час. Також під час цієї трансляції, так як ви розумієте, ця трансляція відбувається наживо, так, в YouTube, і нас досить багато людей, більше, ніж зазвичай на курсі. Ми, ви, можливо, будете помічати маленьку затримку, тому не дивуйтеся, якщо це так відбувається. Можливо, трохи буде затримка моєї реакції на ваші відповіді, добре? А також, друзі, хочу сказати, що кожного разу, коли я дивлюся наліво, це не означає, що я від вас відвертаюся, це означає, що я дивлюся на чат, тому що заліва в мене є чат, який я читаю, там, де ви можете спілкуватися зі мною. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello. Я вже бачу багато hello від вас. Окей. Okay. І ще маю вам сказати, що взагалі під час курсу я завжди говорю українсь... англійською, особливо, коли це вже настільки, ну, якби Досить високий рівень, так, 7-9 клас. Тому максимально сьогодні на відкритому році я буду говорити англійською, хоча іноді мені доведеться переходити на українську лише для того, щоб точно знати, що ви все розумієте. Друзі, ну, в принципі, я думаю, ми готові розпочинати. І ще єдине хочу сказати, щоб ви не забули переключити клавіатуру на англійську, тому що дивлячись в чат, я вже бачу, де хто говорить англійською, пише англійською, але де хто ще досі говорить українською. Sure. Окей, okay. так, будь ласка. Ласкаво прошу. Окей, okay, друзі, більше інформації про цей курс буде в кінці уроку, тому, будь ласка, беріть активну участь, насолоджуйтесь заняттям, спілкуйтесь англійською. І після того, як закінчиться урок, я вам розповім трохи більше вже про сам курс, скільки він триває, з чого він складається. Окей, okay. so friends, I think we can get started. Думаю, ми вже можемо розпочати. All right, so now, again, I want to say welcome to our class. It is a big pleasure for me to meet you all today. And I hope we will have a wonderful time together and you will enjoy every activity we're, we're going to do today. Okay, so first of all, I want to tell you more about myself. So imagine that I wrote a letter to you, okay? And this is an email. And uh, although I'm a teacher, I still can make mistakes, right? <laughs> and in this paragraph, there are three mistakes. So you need to find these mistakes, okay? And correct them. So let me read this paragraph to you and you need to find it, okay? Hello everyone, my name is Ira. I am 31 year old. My native town is Poltava. I lived in Poltava since my childhood. It is a small and, be and very beautiful city. So please find three mistakes. Oh, I can see already. Hometown. I have lived years. Wow. You are amazing. You found all three mistakes. That's true. <laughs> it's not true. Dasha, this is true. Actually, I'm 32 now, but I forgot to change it. Okay, yes, friends. So there are three mistakes. And mistake number one is I am 31 years old. Yes, ending S. Mistake two, my native town. Native town is wrong because you are supposed to say not native town, but hometown. Hometown – це рідне місто. Native town – це називають в перекладі калька. Тобто ми копіюємо з нашої мови на англійську. And you don't need to do it. You need to remember hometown. Yes, and I lived is wrong because I started living and I'm still living there. So I have lived. 
Super. Okay, so now you know where I'm from and how old I am. Next. Again, in this paragraph, I have three mistakes again. Okay, so try to find them and correct them. I will read it for you. I am an English teacher and an interpreter. I have been teaching English for over 10 years. English are my second mother tongue. I cannot imagine my life without English. I taught English in a public school and private school. I also had a chance to teach English in China for one year. Now I'm happy to be your teacher on this platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people say an English teacher, good. Teached. Hmm, Alexandra, are you sure? Mm, an English teacher, teached. Feather, are you sure? McCoy taught, mm, maybe. An English, right. An English teacher, yes, Miroslava, that's correct. Taught English. Oh no, you can say cannot. Cannot is correct. You can say cannot, polna forma, or can't, korotka forma. It's both are correct. Okay, so I can show you there are three mistakes. I am an English teacher, of course, an, because English starts with a vowel. Next, English is, very good, I can see that some of you corrected me, good. English is my second mother tongue. Yeah, я можу сказати, що англійська це моя друга рідна мова, because I use it very often and I like it. Okay, and number three, I taught. So you need to remember how to spell it. T-A-U, not T-O-U. Super! I'm so happy you found it. Friends, again, I, I will repeat myself. When you say cannot, слово cannot правильно написано. Cannot – це повна форма uh, я не можу, I cannot. Скорочено можна сказати I can't. Okay? Great! So let's look at the next paragraph and the next paragraph is going to be is going to have two mistakes not three but two mistakes now so here find two mistakes from this photo you can see that i am married my husband is handsome and kind we have no kids yet however i have a lot of nieces and nephews and most importantly i have four sisters among which two are very young, seven and ten years old. We love spending time together. Yeah, Yulia, but how do you correct photos? Mm, good, sisters, correct. Yeah, but write correctly. How do you spell photos? I spelled it wrong. You don't speak English. I'm sorry, because we are going to speak English all the time, Kirillo. Yes, yeah, sisters. Yeah, Vaselina. Very good. Photos. P-H. Yes, Fadir. Very good. So, photo. It's a wrong spelling. In this photo. P-H-O-T-O. -O. And I have four sisters. Of course, sisters. Oh, sorry. It's, it has moved a little to the side. Great. Wonderful. Hello, hello, welcome everyone who has just joined us. Okay, and the last paragraph, <laughs> it's going to be two mistakes again, okay? In my free time, I like bake, chatting with my family and friends and traveling. My favorite things about traveling are meeting new people, trying new food, getting to know new cultures and seeing new places. That's it for now. Hope to get to know you better soon. Best wishes. Ira or Ira. Yay, I can see your corrections. Very good. Baking, baking. Getting, exactly. Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. So there are two mistakes. I like baking, of course. After like, we put verb with ing. And getting, we need to double T. Wow, bravo. You are very clever and intelligent students. I really like it. Dmitri, don't worry. If you don't understand everything, it's okay. It means you can still learn something, yeah? You have 
a lot of chances to learn. Okay, very good. So friends, now we're going to move on and you know a lot of information about me, but I don't know anything about you guys. And there are so many of you. Yeah, hello, welcome, welcome. And uh, I have a few questions, but you need to, first of all, put the words in the correct order to make questions. And then you need to answer them because the words in these questions are all mixed. So first, put it in the correct order, write the question, and after that, answer it, okay? So please guess, what question is it? What question is it? Hi, hello everyone who has just joined us. Welcome, 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 join us. We need to put these words in the correct order and then you need to answer the question. Yay, that's absolutely right. Elizabeth, Sonia, yes, Alexandra, very good. Yes, so the question is, where are you from? So please answer my question. Guys, where are you from? Busk, okay. Dovhe, okay. From Ukraine, of course you are from Ukraine. Tell me the name of your city <laughs> or town or village. Mariupol, hello Mariupol, hello Dovhe, hello Zakarpatia, <laughs> Vila Cerkva, Markivka, hello Kharkiv. Oh, from Russia, really? Huh, <laughs> nice. Kiev, Zhovtivody, hi, Stri, Borshiv. Kharkiv, Kiev, Cherkasy, Pervomaisk, Kharkiv, Nova Borova. Ooh, I've never heard this place. Poltava. Hi, Poltava, my hometown. Chernihiv, Pavlograd, Zaporizhia, Cherkasy, Lviv, Sarny. Ooh. Omletic? Okay. Hi, Omletic. Chernobyl, Kherson. Alexandria, right? Dnipro. Wow. Village Huta. Muta, Kiev, Dnipro, Kiev, Lviv, Ternopil, Kovel, Kramatorsk, Alexandria, Verdichev. Wow, so we're all, we all are from all over Ukraine. So many cities. Kiev, Bravary, Ivana Frankiv, Skrofevnitsky. Wow, so hello people from wherever you are. <laughs> That's very nice. Oh, really? From Moscow even? Okay, Kramatorsk. Okay, Nikopol. Great. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very, very happy to meet you all today. Okay, I still want you to answer the next question. But first, can you put the words in the correct order, please? Any ideas what this question can be? Yes, Maria, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just have put it correctly, yeah. Yes, Anya, yes, Oksana, very good. By the way, do you know uh, what it means? Do you have any siblings? Who are siblings? Do you have any siblings? Correct, very good. But who are siblings? Any Мається на увазі, ну, зазвичай в питаннях ми кажемо, do you have any siblings? Це слово ми в українській не говоримо, а в англійській якби якихось. <laughs> any. Yes, Sasha, exactly. Very good, Anya. Wow, you are so smart. Yeah, so do you have any siblings? So siblings is a word which means do you have any brothers or sisters? So you see, like grandmother, grandfather, one word, grandparents. Mother, father, one word, parents. Brother, sister, one word, siblings. <laughs> okay, I have an older brother, brother. Mm -hmm. I have a brother and a sister, good. But you understand that siblings are ridni, not cousins, ne dvoyuridni. Siblings are only your closest, mm -hmm, who live with you. Okay, I haven't. Okay, I haven't got or I don't have. I'm alone. You can say I'm the only child in my family. Okay, very good. I don't have. Друзі, якщо починають питання з do, то відповідайте I don't, okay? Do you have? No, I don't. Якби я сказала have you got, тоді ви відповіли no, I haven't. 
Very well, thanks. Okay, friends. And I have one more. Hmm, interesting. So a lot of you don't have... Oh, and some of you have four or five siblings. Wow, amazing. Okay, and the last question. Actually, it's about your free time. So what question is it? Can you put the words in the correct order? Michael, close means bliski. Your close, the closest, najbliższe relatives, yeah. Wow, Sofia, a lot. Yeah, very good, Anna, Misha, Nita, Elizabeth, Alexandra. I can see your answers. Yes, Maria, Fedir, very good. Gordiev, Danny, yeah, okay, I'm not going to read all the names, but you did a good job. So the question is, what do you like doing in your free time? So friends, what do you like doing in your free time? I already told you about myself. I like chatting with my family. I like spending time with my friends. I like traveling. I like uh, baking, making cakes and pies. I like playing with my little sisters. Actually, yeah, so that's a lot. Oh, I like reading. Don't forget, you need to put ing after like. The next verb will have ing ending. I like playing, Misha. You need to add ing ending. I like playing. Playing, okay? Listening, okay. Listening to dancing, watching. Friends, don't forget to put ing. I like walking, playing football, chatting with my friends. Okay, watch, working out, very good. Listening, walking, spending time, very good. Wow, I like playing Minecraft. Не забывайте, після like, наступне дійство буде з інговим закінченням. I like doing parkour, okay. Reading, listening, listening. Thank you, playing on computer. Don't forget about ing ending. Thank you. So interesting. Good job. So now I know a little bit about all of you. <laughs> That's great. So now we shared information about each other. Great. So friends, today we're going to talk about money. <laughs> is it an interesting topic for you? I hope it is. <laughs> okay, friends. So actually when we talk about money, Money is a very common word. Everyone knows the word money. But you know, English-speaking people, they have many synonyms of this word. Have you ever heard you like money? That's good. <laughs> or maybe it's not very good. But anyways, uh, do you know any synonyms uh, that you can use instead of money? Oh, I see. Cash. Hotivka. Very good. Cash. You can say cash. Paper, probably, yeah, it's like another mm -hmm. synonym, cash. Okay, most of you know cash. Bishes was nae cash, hotivka. Bucks, okay, that's true, bucksy. Coin, semonetka, okay, very good. Cash, bread, wow, you know this. Sasha, tak, inkolu hroši nazvajuć hlibom, bread. Currency, okay, but currency is a non-zamini groshi, it's a valuta, troshki inche zali slovo. Green, <laughs> okay. Dollars, no, dollars, it's a yekrasi yek currency, it's a uja valuta, vrizne krajina. Super, dough, wow, you know it, Anya, dough, tak, zali dough, it's a tisto, ale dough hovoreche in a groshi. Okay, so I have a few words for you, so you can remember bread. So I have money. You can say you can say instead of money or I need money. You can say I need bread. <laughs> and you maybe someone will give you real bread to eat, but you say, no, 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 I need bread. <laughs> okay, you can also say I need paper, papir. <laughs> it's also money. I need big ones. So it also means money. I need bucks. You already told me this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, у нас говорить капуста, а вони говорять хліб. Yeah, I need moolah. 
Ну, мула це взагалі вигодане якесь слово мула, but it's very popular. So instead of saying I need money, you say I need mula. <laughs> okay, very well. So you remember a lot, you know a lot of them, but maybe you can learn some new ones from this list. Very good. Okay, friends. So now your task will be to guess where each currency uh, each currency comes from. I want to remind you that currency means valuta. So I say the currency and you say the country where it is from. All right? Okay, so let's try. UN is from Okay, so where is it from? UN is from any ideas? Wow, I can see good, Aksana, not Japan, sorry. Yeah, friends, I can see correct answers. Not Ukraine, do we have UNs in Ukraine? Come on, people. Yes, I can see correct answers. UN is from China, Yuan. It's Chinese currency, China, Kitai. <laughs> so when you go to China, you need to have yuan. Okay, shekel is from, shekel is from, wow, Sasha, great. Oh, not Poland, sorry, not Poland. Yay, people, good job, you're a great student, so smart. Do you Google it or you know it? Good job. So, yeah, so shekel is from Israel. Israel. Shekel of Israel. Good. Euro is from Euro. Oh, you Google it. Okay. Euro is from Europe. European Union, EU, Belgium, Europe, Deutschland, <laughs> Germany, yes, Europe, 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 yes. So Euro is from the European Union, yeah, Europejski Soyuz, because in U Ukraine is also in Europe, but we don't have Euros as our currency, yeah, so it's from the European Union, good. And what about dollar? Where is dollar from? Of course, yeah, so dollar is from the USA, but also in Canada, they have Canadian dollars, yeah, so USA and Canada. Okay, Zloty, where is Zloty from? In Australia, maybe they have dollars, I'm not sure, maybe they do. Yes, people, very good, great. So Zloty is from Poland. Of course, it's from Poland. Yeah, they don't use euros, so they use zloty. Okay, and the last one, pound. Pound is from... Good job, I can see correct answers. Well done, kids. Great. Yes, yeah, so pound is from the UK. United Kingdom, so it's not only England. England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Yeah, in the whole United Kingdom, Great Britain, they use pounds, funte, sterling, pounds, sterling, yes? Oh, and the last one, ruble is from... Of course, it's from Russia. <laughs> That's right, ruble is from Russia. Wow, good job. You are so intelligent. I am very proud of you. Mama Mojna Pushatisa, I am proud of you. Okay, good job. Our next activity, you will need to match the beginning of the sayings with the end, with the ending, okay? So you see the beginning, and all these phrases are about money. See the beginning and just tell me which is the ending, okay? So let's start. Money doesn't... 
Money doesn't choose the correct ending for this beginning. Money doesn't what? Money doesn't are free. Mm -mm. Oh, I see correct answers. Great. No, friends. Doesn't are. Мені коли разом не кажемо doesn't are. Are не потребує doesn't. Ми можемо сказати aren't, якщо ми захочемо заперечення. Yes, exactly. So money doesn't grow on trees. Це вам батьки часто кажуть. Гроші на дереві не ростуть. Не ростуть на деревах, yeah? Money doesn't grow on trees. By the way, friends, pay attention. Money is always singular in English. Зверніть увагу. Гроші завжди одне на англійській мові. You see, ми не кажемо money don't. Money doesn't, тому що це не злічувальний іменник. Вони вважають так, чомусь гроші у них не лікуються, не можна порахувати. Uh-huh. You can count dollars, euros, pounds, but not money. So money always singular. Завжди одна. Don't forget about it. Okay. Next phrase is the best things in life. The best things in life. No. Yeah, I can see. I can see. Not more problems. Not a penny earned. Not is money. <laughs> you want to say the best thing in life is money? Найкращі речі в житті це гроші? No, it's not true. <laughs> yeah, very good. Very good, friends. Not is money, but you are right who say the best things in life are free. Найкращі речі в житті безкоштовні. So, you know, hugs are free. You don't need to pay. Yes? Love is free. You, you cannot buy love. So the best things in life are free. That's a very good statement. I really like it. Yeah, super. Yeah, parents are free. That's a good example. Next. A penny saved is... Друзі, питають, до котрої урок? Я вже казала на початку, у нас урок триває годину, тому до першої тридцять. Mm-hmm. Right, Kirill. You're welcome, Vika. So, a penny saved is... Yay! <laughs> yes, euros пишеться з S, тому що всі валюти рахуються, це тільки гроші не рахуються. <laughs> yeah, very good. So, a penny saved is a penny earned. That's an interesting phrase. So, a penny saved, penny – це найменша монетка, так? Тобто, копійка, яка збережена, тобто, не витрачена, is a penny earned. Це копійка, яка зароблена. Yeah? So, it means when you save money, then it means you earn them, you have them. So, sometimes it's good to save money and not spend all, all of the money. Yeah? Very good. Next. You can't what? Very good. You are absolutely right. Yes, Kirill. I like your answer because it is correct. So you can't... Anyone else? Yes. You can't take it with you. You can't take it with you. Sometimes people think, oh, I need to make money, I need to have a lot of money, I need to buy this and this and this. And then someone stops this person and says, stop. You can't take it with you. It means like when you die, you will leave it all here on the earth. So don't think only about money. Yes, that's a good phrase too. Okay, the next one. Time. Time. Not what you pay for, sorry. Yeah, not many. Yeah, time is money. Exactly. Very good. Yeah, time is money. <laughs> yeah, so very busy people usually say, time is money. I cannot talk to you for a long time because I'm very busy. So time is money. <laughs> okay, very well. 
Or you can say that time is even more important than money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And let's see. More money. Yes, exactly. Okay, super. So more money, unfortunately, very often it happens that the more money you have, the more problems you have. It's true, yeah? More money, more problems. <laughs> you don't know how to spend them. <laughs> or maybe you have a lot of people who want to be friends with you only because of money. So yeah, more money, more problems. Yeah, that's an interesting saying. I believe it's it can be true. Okay, and the last one, actually here, you have an ending, okay? What you pay for. But I want you to think about the beginning of the sentence. What is the beginning? What do you think is the beginning? Here you need to be very creative. So what is the beginning? Blah, blah, blah. What you pay for. Any ideas? Money, what you pay for. Mm, no, I'm sorry, but a good try. Alejarnas proba. Moke. I, I don't think there is a word in English which mean, which, which is moke. I don't know. Money. I don't know. Time is what you pay for. Actually, it's a good phrase, Maria. I like it, but it's not uh, for this saying. Life, what you pay for. Okay, Anya. For everything, what you pay for. Okay, McCoy. You get what you pay for. Wow, Lada. You get what you pay for. That's right. I don't know. Maybe you Googled it or maybe you guessed, but that's the right guess. So you get what you pay for. It means uh, if you pay little money, then you can get very bad shoes, for example, yeah? So you can say, you get what you pay for. You paid little money, that's why your shoes are so bad and they fall apart. But if you pay a lot of money, sometimes, usually, and this is a good brand, then maybe your shoes uh, will last for five years and they will never fall apart because this is good quality, yeah? Uh, Dennis, I'm from Ukraine, Poltava. Okay, super, great. You get what you pay for. Ти отримуєш те, за що ти те, якби скільки ти платиш. Тобто ти отримуєш те, що ти платиш. Yeah, so sometimes we need to pay more and get something better quality than less and then get something very bad quality. Great! Super! I really like it. I hope you're enjoying this class and I hope you are still uh, you still have a lot of uh, desire and uh, energy to continue, okay? Because now we're going to read uh, the web report quickly and you need to match the headings with paragraphs from A to D, okay? So all you need to do... Oh, good, good. I, I'm happy that you like it and it, you find it interesting, good. So read the web reports, please, and try to understand. In this web report, all people talk about pocket money. До речі, це можливо вираз для вас новий. Pocket money. Карманні, кишенькові гроші. Pocket money. So please read A, B, C, D about pocket money. In the UK, some lucky children get pocket money every week. So I give you two minutes, okay? So I'm quiet and you read. Try to read it out loud. Спробуйте в голос читати. Щоб ви мову виробляти свою гарну. Окей? Okay? So go! Thank you, Dennis.
Oh, you don't need to write. Зараз не потрібно писати, друзі, тільки читаємо. You just need to read this text. No writing, okay? Не переживайте, нічого не потрібно. Just read. Okay, and if you finish reading, text in the chat box that you are done. Okay, let me know when you are done. Oh, good, it's easy. I'm glad you can understand it. Okay, done, done, I can see. You don't need to write anything, Mark. Wait, just wait. Great, most of you are done. Great. So since you are done and most of you are done, we can start our activity. So I'm going to tell you the title. Я вам кажу назву абзацу. And all you need to do, just tell me if it's for A, for B, for C or for D. Okay, because each paragraph has a title. Okay? Okay, very good. So let's try. Number one, do they save any money? Do they save any money? So is it A, B, C or D title? Mm -hmm. Okay, so C, 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 C. Okay, most of you think it's C. Okay, great. And you are right. Yes, this is paragraph C title. Good. Number two. What do kids spend it on? What do kids spend it on? На що діти витрачають їх? What do kids spend it on? Зверніть увагу, знову такі money. І бачите, money – це it, воно. Однина. Okay, you say B, B, D, D, B, B, D, D, C, B, B. Okay, and the correct answer is paragraph B. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, boys spend it on computer games, yeah? Kids with a lot of pocket money sometimes pay for school books, clothes and travel. Yeah, very good. Okay, next, what do you think? So, is this title for A or for D? What do you think? D, 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 D. Yay! You are absolutely right. Good job. Super. Okay. And of course, A, when do parents give pocket money? That's A. You already know it. So that's easy. When do parents give pocket money? Super, friends! Your reading is great because I can see from your answers that you read and you understood what you read. That's perfect. Okay, so we will continue. And actually, this is our final block uh, of our class. And uh, here you will learn a little bit of vocabulary, a little bit of grammar. And then at the end, we will watch an interesting video and uh, you will answer some question about this video connected with money okay so first of all spend spend це витрачати друзі spend money first of all yeah we will oh you're already writing spend money wow what can we do with money it's true we can spend money we can pay money we can earn money we can change them Um, maybe Sasha, not, oh, Maria, not change, exchange. Вот уже якраз снизу написали правильно, exchange, поміняти, обміняти їх на іншу валюту. Yeah? You exchange your money to get a different currency. Spend, you can take some credit. Okay, that's a loan. You can take a loan. Англійською буде, you can take a loan. Не кредит, а loan. Save money, save, lend. Woo, позичати, тобто давати комусь. Great. Wow! And borrow. Yes, you can borrow money when you need money and you take it from someone. Yeah! Wow, friends, you know a lot. You can waste money, exactly. Okay, so I will show you some phrases that I want to, uh, to teach you or maybe review with you. So, 
You can save money. Yeah? Save означає економити або збирати гроші. В плані складати свою копілочку. Yeah? Save money. Good. You can also find money. <laughs> you can find money. That's a good thing when you find money. Yes? Можна навіть знайти гроші. <laughs> you can donate money. Uh, maybe this is a new word for most of you. But it's a very good word to know. Donate means to give someone who needs money. Donate це означає пожертвувати гроші. So when, for example, people are, someone is sick and you want to help this person, you donate money to this person. Okay? Yeah, you can donate for anything. Okay, next. Make money or earn money. So these two verbs are the same, mean the same. Yes, yeah, so make money, не робити гроші, не підробляти, а заробляти. Make money, це заробляти. Or earn money, very good. Yeah. Borrow money. Позичати гроші. Це коли ви у когось берете. Borrow. So take money from someone. And lend money. It's when you give money. Це позичати, але коли ви даєте гроші комусь. Lend money. Yeah? So when I need money, I borrow money. When someone needs money, I lend money to them. Okay? Lose money. That's a sad thing. Hubite. So you find money and you can also lose money. Yeah? Find money, lose money. <laughs> Bad. Okay. Waste money. Хтось вас молодці писали. Collect money? Yeah, you can say so, Федор. Можна казати collect money. Але все-таки краще казати save money. Mm -hmm. Make fake money. Yes, lad. Waste money. Писали ви молодці. Це витрачати марно. Waste money. Тобто викидати туди-сюди. Waste money. Okay, so you spend money not seriously. Mm -hmm. Waste. And the last one. Raise money. Raise, друзі, raise money, maybe you, it's, again, it's something new for you. So when you save money, коли ви зберігаєте гроші, тобто ви копите на щось, накопичуєте. А raise money – це також збирати гроші. But it's when you have some interesting project, for example. You want to buy a new equipment for the hospital, for example. And uh, you raise money for this. Ви збираєте гроші, тобто ви... Ходити в організації, кажете, я хочу купити якийсь гарний прилад там, в лікарню. I want to buy some equipment for the hospital. So I'm raising money. So please give some money for the hospital. Raise money. Okay? Eat money. Oh no, I don't eat money. Maybe you do, but that's a bad idea. Okay, because money is dirty and has a lot of microbes on it. Okay. So, friends, all these vocabulary, if you, find, if you found something new for you, please memorize, because these are very useful phrases for everyday life. Great! So, let's uh, learn a little bit of grammar. It's very easy, maybe, for some of you. For some of you, it can be difficult. So, here is a question. Have you ever saved money? And the answer can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Friends, what tense is it? What tense? Yaki it's a chas. Have you ever saved money? Okay, we must pisat vitpovit and razu pisat yaki it's a chas. Write your answer and write the time. Oh, the tense, sorry, the tense. Past. Uh, Misha, I'm sorry, but it's not past. Насправді, воно звучить, ніби минулий, так? Ви коли-небудь збирали гроші, але в англійській це не називається past. Yes, people. Good job, kids. You're right. It's present perfect. В англійській мові це називається теперішній перфектний час. Present perfect. Yeah? Тобто це загальне питання, коли ми питаємо про щось, що, можливо, сталося в минулому, або може ще статися в теперішньому, є маркер, Таке вказувальне слово ever. З ever ми вживаємо have you ever. Very good. Mm -hmm. Have you ever. Пам'ятаєте, have plus verb in the third form or ed. Або в третій формі дії слова, або якщо правильно, ed. Have you ever saved? Okay, great. And next question. What did you save it for? Якщо ваша відповідь так збирав, 
Наступне питання. What did you save it for? На що ти збирав? I saved it for a wedding dress. Я збирала гроші, це я про себе кажу, на весільну сукню. I saved it for a wedding dress. Mm-hmm. What tense is it? Що це за час? What did you save it for? Yeah, very good. Past simple. Молодці. Тобто перше загальне питання буде have you ever, чи ти коли-небудь, і воно в present perfect зазвичай. But all other questions which ask about details, всі інші питання про деталі, вони зазвичай будуть уже в past simple, в звичайному минулому часі. Тому що ми знаємо, що ця людина вже це робила в минулому. А коли ще не знаємо, питаємо в present perfect. Very good. Okay, for a new phone, for controller. I saved it for the seaside, yes. I saved it for oh, fishing equipment. Wow. <laughs> so you love fishing, yeah? For Black Day? <laughs> Black Friday? Oh, for Black Day на чорний день. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. So let's look at uh, a few more questions. And let's look at maybe one more question and then we have a video. Um, have you ever lost money? Have you ever lost money? And if yes, how much money did you lose? So I can tell you about my, uh, myself. I, I have, yes, I have lost money. I lost 10 grimnias, not a lot of money. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yes, I have. So you can answer. You don't need to say tenses. Oh, two grimnias, not bad. Yes, Mark, ти колись згубив? Have you ever lose, lost, lost? Пам'ятаєте, губити, lose, lost, lost. Oh, very good, McCoy. I'm happy you found your 500 grimness. Oh, no, I haven't. Соня, тоді ти кажеш, yes, I have. Так, я губила. Yes, I have. А no, I haven't. Це ні, я не губила. Okay, 50 grimnas, 200 grimnas. Okay, some of you lost a lot of money. I lost about 20. Okay, Sasha. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the last question. Have you ever donated money? Пам'ятайте, слово donate – це жертвувати на щось. Have you ever donated money? And if yes, what did you donate for? So I can tell you my answer. Yes, I have. I donated money to help sick people. No, I haven't. Yes, I donated for streamers. Okay. No, I haven't. No, yes. No money but food. Oh, that's good, Feder. Very good. Yes, in the church. Okay. No, I haven't. Vlad, don't text so many times because because of your messages I cannot see other others. To help animals, okay, Sonia? To seek people and in game, okay, McCoy. Oh, the same, Michael. Yes, you helped sick people. Okay, very good. So friends, today we're going to watch a video, and this is our final task. Very interesting and This video is about one girl who wanted to donate her money and you need to answer questions after this video, okay? I will quickly show you the questions, okay? So the questions will be, what is the girl's name? What was her birthday wish? What tragedy happened to her? How much money did people donate after her death. What did the girl do daily when she was alive according to her mom? Do you have any questions about these sentences? Do you understand all that all of them or maybe some words you need to tr- you want me to translate? Is everything okay? You understand, yes? Okay, 
So if you understand, if you have no questions about the words, then I think we are ready to watch the video. Ready? Watch the video about this girl and answer the questions. Oh, last question. Я питання, да, у Настя. Окей, Настя, last question. What did the girl do daily? Що робила дівчина щодня, when she was alive, коли була жива? According to her mom. Відповідно до мами. Те, що мама каже. Просто мама там буде давати інтерв'ю. And you will need to hear what her mommy told about her daughter. What she did daily. Okay? Clear. So let's start. Watch the video and try to understand it and later you will answer the questions go well we got somebody here we want to introduce you to it's a little girl who had a birthday wish but she wasn't able to be around to see that wish come true nine-year-old rachel beckwith of bellevue washington all she wanted to do was raise three hundred dollars to help bring clean drinking water to an african village well, unfortunately, she died in a car accident before she was able to make that wish come true. But when people heard about her story, listen to what they did. Her donations were at $220. People started donating and donating and donating until those donations got up to a million dollars. Yes, from her $300 wish to a million dollars. And that count continues to grow on her web page, her mom is so proud right now of the legacy her daughter was able to leave behind. She would be so happy and just so amazed that she helped people. Yeah. Because she yeah. did that on a daily basis in our lives. So she would, she's jumping up and down in heaven right now. <laughs> now you uh, can learn more. Uh, the website is mycharitywater.org. Again, that young lady's name is Rachel Beckwith, nine years old, had a $300 wish. It's turned to over a million dollars in donations now. Okay. So, friends, did you understand it? Could you understand this news report? Yeah, it was news report from CNN channel. Oh, I can see some good answers. Very good. Okay, friends, but just in case, I will let you watch it again. Okay? Зараз давайте все таки ще раз дам вам шанс послухати. Ви щось уловили, щось ні? Maybe the second time will be easier for you to understand. So let's try it. Well, we got somebody here. We want to introduce you to. It's a little girl who had a birthday wish, but she wasn't able to be around to see that wish come true. Nine-year-old Rachel Beckwith of Bellevue, Washington. All she wanted to do was raise $300 to help bring clean drinking water to an African village. Well, unfortunately, she died in a car accident before she was able to make that wish come true. But when people heard about her story, listen to what they did. Her donations were at $220. People started donating and donating and donating until those donations got up to a million dollars. Yes, from her $300 wish to a million dollars. And that count continues to grow on her web page. Her mom is so proud right now of the legacy her daughter was able to leave behind. She would be so happy and just so amazed that she helped people yeah. because she yeah did that on a daily basis in our lives so she would she's jumping up and down in heaven right now <laughs> now you uh, can learn more uh, the website is mycharitywater.org again that young lady's name is rachel beckwith nine years old had a three hundred dollar wish it's turned to over a million dollars in donations now okay wow i see some great answers from you wonderful yeah, I can see that you understood a lot. So let's answer. What's the girl's name? What's the girl's name? And yeah, what was her birthday wish? You can write. Yeah, so this is Rachel. Yeah, her name is Rachel Beckwith. That's her surname. Yes, and she's nine, she was nine years old. Okay, what was her birthday wish? 
not angel. Friends, you saw it on the um, photo frame. Там на рамці було написано angel. Це просто як Янгол. But her name is Rachel Beckwith. Nine years old. What was her birthday wish? Do you remember? Birthday wish. Яке було її бажання на день народження? Birthday wish. Any ideas? Yeah, I can see your answer is about car crash, but it will be a little bit later. But what was her birthday wish? You don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Africa Village. Yeah, and one. Very good. So what did she want? She said, I don't want presents for my birthday. All I want is to raise $300 to help bring drinking water to an African village. That's right. For Africa. Yeah, water for Africa. Very good. So she wanted to raise. Пам'ятаєте вираз? Raise money. Збирати гроші на якийсь проект. So she said, don't give me presents, but give me money. And I will use this money to buy drinking water for an African village. Very good. So some of you understood it. That's great. Okay. What tragedy happened to her? What tragedy happened to her? Yeah, Fedor, that's right. Car crash. Yes, Michael. Right? And one. Yeah, so she died. Вона померла. Yeah, she died in a car accident before her dream came true. Yeah, she died. Very sad. She died. It's true. How much money did people donate after her death? Але ж скільки грошей люди пожертвували? Donate after her death. Yeah, very good. Wow, Nastya, you even know exact numbers. Yeah. People donated over, over означає більше ніж, over або понад, one million dollar. Can you imagine it? She wanted only 300, but people donated over one million. Yes. Okay, and the last question. What did the girl do daily when she was alive according to her mom? Мама давала інтерв'ю і казала, що о, так, там дехто написав jump up and down. Так вона каже, вона зараз на небі стрибає up and down від радості, що стільки назбиралось грошей для дітей. Але мама казала про те, що робила ця дівчинка кожного дня. She helped mommy, yes, Mark, but not only mommy. She helped people on the daily basis. So this girl had a very kind heart. And she helped every day. And um, you see, even after she died, she could help so many African people to get clean water. So that's a good example for us, yeah? So we can, we can follow her example. And I wish this to you and to me, <laughs> to follow the example of this girl and help others the way we can. Very good. Thank you so much for your wonderful participation. You are very smart children. And I really enjoyed working with you. Your English, I, according to what I read in the chat box, is wonderful. And uh, I, oh, of course, I want to welcome you to our class. And I want to welcome you to our course. I just want to welcome you to our course. I want to to our course. And you will definitely learn a lot of things. Okay? So, як я обіцяла в кінці уроку швидку інформацію про курс. Знову ж таки, переходжу вже на українську мову. Дякую за активну участь всім. Сподіваюсь, сподобався вам урок. Um, і швидко про те, що буде відбуватися на нашому курсі. Я запрошую на курс ваш, на вас всіх з англійською для 7-9 класів. Так? Це рівень pre-intermediate. Старт курсу, друзі, буде 27 квітня о 16.30. Розклад уроків що понеділка і що середи о 16.30. Навчальна група вже майже сформована, тому залишається лише декілька місць, які ви можете зайняти. Хочете навчатись, тоді мерші, бронюйте місця. Навчання на онлайн-курсі 
розкажу вам трохи про сам курс. Курс складається з 25 онлайн занять. В невеликій групі ці заняття тривають 90 хвилин, і з них 5 хвилин на перерву, тобто півтори години заняття. Домашні завдання до кожного уроку у вас обов'язково закріплені. Там будуть і тестові завдання, і багато інших, про які я скажу далі. Відеозаписи всіх уроків у вас будуть завжди після уроку, тому ви всі будете мати доступ до запису самого уроку, раптом ви на нього не потрапили, або хочете передивитися його ще раз. І також у вас будуть презентації і всі допоміжні матеріали, які були на уроці в доступі, ви зможете їх закачати на свій комп'ютер. Контроль відвідування також буде цих уроків. Буде куратор у вашої групи закріплений, який буде дзвонити вам час від часу, питати, як ваші справи, чи є якісь проблеми, нагадувати, можливо, про уроки, завдання, якщо ви про них забуваєте. І вже ж ви можете консультуватися з ним з приводу різних питань, і навчальних, і технічних. З приводу домашніх завдань, окрім тестів, у нас також будуть творчі домашні завдання на перевірку вимови та правопису. Так що, друзі, окрім того, що я хочу, щоб ви знали, як там читати, відповідати правильно, я хочу також, щоб ви говорили красиво англійською, щоб вас іноземці могли зрозуміти. Раптом ви потрапите за кордон, або тут в Україні будете десь в майбутньому працювати з англійською. Тому творчі завдання у вас будуть і відео, там, де я чую вас, і правопис, там, де ви пишете якусь історію, есе, і я можу прочитати і порадити вам, що можна покращити. Отже, останнє, що варто сказати, це про вартість курсу, що сьогодні він коштує 2350, 2350 гривень, завтра 2500 гривень. І щоб забронювати місце у групі, друзі, ви можете перейти за посиланням у чаті та натиснути «Купити повний курс». В чаті, от ви зараз бачите, з'являється Посилання, от якщо ви клікнете на нього, ви зразу перейдете до того, що можна купити цей курс, який розпочинається вже зовсім скоро. Друзі, that's it for today. На сьогодні це все. Uh, again, I want to thank you for your active participation. Хочу подякувати за вашу активну участь. And if you have any questions. Я вже ж, якщо, друзі, зараз у вас є питання, я ще хвилину-дві побуду в чаті, для того, ну, відео, для того, щоб відповісти на ваші запитання. Do you have any questions, friends? Please ask me. I will be very happy to answer them. No questions. I don't want Kirill. I don't like this word. No questions. All right, feel free. Вільно відчувайте. Якщо є питання, ставте питання. Я з задоволенням відповім. Окей. Друзі, ви бачите посилання у вас в чаті, так що є бажання, переходьте і записуйтесь на курс. It is going to start very soon, and I really hope to see you all there. Дуже сподіваюся вас там побачити. Окей, then since you don't have any questions, так як я бачу, немає питань уже, Віка, бачу твоє питання. Група десь близько 40 людей. Good. Okay, then thank you so much. It was a big pleasure to meet you all and I hope to see you later. Okay? Have a good day. Ага, ще раз бачу питання, Віка, ми будемо з відео. Друзі, в, на уроці буде приблизно так, такого спілкування, як зараз. Тобто ви бачите мене, ви чуєте мене, ви бачите презентацію, а спілкуємося ми в чаті. Thank you, Lada. О, oh, Віка, welcome. Кирил, наступний урок, це буде старт курсу 27 квітня о 16.30. Okay, very good. So thank you for your questions. Дякую за запитання. And uh, welcome, welcome to our class on the 27th of April. I hope to see you there. Okay, bye-bye. If you have any questions, you can still text and mod the moderator will answer it, okay? So it's time for me to say bye-bye to you and have a good day. Keep studying English. And hope to see you at the course. Bye.